Hello, my name is Curtis Chanda. I'm the International Director for Global Teams. We are living together through some crazy times. I'm sure you're experiencing, and we are too. Things are really, uh, we had to make a lot of changes with COVID. But as our Latin American director says, problems are not problems, they're opportunities for God to do something different. And as a result of COVID, we've seen new openness among Muslims. We've seen scripture go into places that uh, were previously closed before the relief efforts that we've seen in our training. We, uh, we had to pivot, all of our, our meetings were canceled and training we had to do online. And we knew we'd come onto something when we had Turkana believers, Turkana are nomadic people in the deserts of Northwest Kenya. We're sitting with phones in, in, front of, in front of trees, listening to our training. And so we decided this is a part of our new normal because of COVID. And in Central Asia, we had very expensive meetings planned to bring people. It's a huge land mass. We were able to train 25 new missionaries from Muslim backgrounds in, in Central Asia because of the ability to use Zoom, which we really wouldn't have pushed into if it hadn't been for COVID. So COVID's brought uh, some great good. Also, the relief efforts, we initially had, had heard from our field partners, they were concerned that their families were gonna starve. And so we, we reached out to our financial partners and we wanted to support 150 uh, families with some food to help them get through this time. But the generosity of God's people, we saw 3,000 people, mostly Muslims, more than that now, uh, since it's been going on for months, receive food portions. And that opened the door for the gospel. Let me tell you just one story of how that happened. Our field partner in a stan, our leader, uh, one of the stands, a Muslim-dominated area full of the Taliban. And there were two women in a village that uh, were just very, very hungry, men praying to Allah. And as an act of faith, they went out from their village to a hillside that overlooked the, the main road that came into to their valley. And, and they would pray every day, say, Allah, please send us food uh, so that we can feed our families. And so about a weekend after doing this routine, they saw a military truck come in. They went to meet the military truck, and all they got was a candy bar. So they continued to pray, and about two weeks in now, they're, they're feeling weak from hunger, and then they see this caravan drive into the valley, and they go down to meet him, and it's the global teams, field partners, and their leader come out to, to, to feed them, and they tell their testimony how they've been praying and asking for God to meet their need in these couples. And as they're starting to eat a little bit of this food, the Muslim time for prayer comes out, and the, the, the men and women that are there, they prepare the prayer mats, but when they start to prepare what they think is the Muslim's prayer, they hear them pray with such authority and power and love towards God. And they say, what kind of prayers? And you say, well, we're followers of Jesus. And this opened up the door for these women to be introduced to Jesus. And they began reading gospel portions to them. They took those gospel portions back to their village in this Taliban dominated area. And today they're gathering and they're, and they're reading about the commands of Jesus saying, we want to pray like those people that loved us and showed us God's love. And this wouldn't have been possible without, without COVID. So God's doing great things. His word's going for us. Thank you for partnering. Let's rejoice together in the good that God is doing.